Generational players are like unicorns. They're rare and magical. However, every so often a player will be so above the rest of their peers that they're a consensus number one overall pick way ahead of the draft. In recent years, Zion Williamson, Anthony Davis, and Kyrie Irving have been just that. However, in the 2022-23 NBA draft, there will be a superstar prospect with the kind of hype not seen since LeBron James. I know by now most of y'all have already heard of him. The 7'4 French phenom Victor Wambanyama is widely regarded as one of the most talented young players in the world. He's being eyed by multiple NBA teams with some even speculating that he could. Could? No, no. He will be the top pick in the upcoming draft. Wambanyama is a great player, and that's a fact that we all know. But the thing is, I'm not sure if he'll ever reach his full potential. And I know I'm not the only one with this concern, but the truth is, there's a long history of taller players never realizing their full potential, or not even getting the chance to make a name for themselves in the league. And with Wambanyama being 7'4", and as mobile and active as he is on the floor, there's a legitimate concern for his safety. <laughs> Of course, I'm not saying he's going to get injured, and I truly hope he doesn't, but it's important to address the issue and talk about it openly. Victor Wambanyama Injury History Now, as we all know, staying healthy is crucial for any athlete, but Victor has been struggling with some health problems that have me worried a little. Over the past few seasons, Wambanyama has missed out on some really important games due to injuries he sustained over the years. On December 12, 2020, Wemby was sidelined due to a fibula stress factor he sustained while playing for Espoir Nanterre. The injury kept him out of action until March 13, 2021, but unfortunately, this wasn't the first time he had to sit out due to an injury. Just a few months before the fibula fracture, Victor had to miss games due to a fractured finger. This injury occurred on November 6, 2020, and kept him out of action until December 2nd of that same year. Wemby was also unfortunately forced to sit out of his team's game against Zenit St. Petersburg on December 15, 2021, due to a bone contusion in his shoulder blade. But fast forward to February 11, 2022, and he made his triumphant return to the court, facing off against Panathinaikos. His latest scare was in June 2022. He suffered a psoas muscle injury and was forced to miss the remainder of the season. Size and length are often considered as the most valuable assets in the world of basketball. However, what happens when you're too tall? That's right, being too tall can actually become a legitimate problem on the court. Recent high draft picks have shown that taller athletes tend to miss a greater percentage of games than their shorter counterparts. NBA players over 6'9 in height miss 17.9% of their possible games in the regular season and playoffs due to injury, compared to just 13.5% of players under 6'8 in height. As you can see, as height rises, the percentage of games missed typically rises as well. Players who are 7 foot or taller have missed nearly 24% of their games due to injury. Any player above that height is bound to have significant, if not career-ending injuries and health issues due to their size. In fact, when we look back at the history of the NBA, we can see that the number of extremely tall players who have sustained long and successful careers is actually very short. At a certain point, being too tall can actually become a detriment to your game, and that's certainly the case for some of the NBA's tallest players. Only five active players are taller than seven foot, starting with Rudy Gobert and Jakob Pertl at seven foot one, Bull Bull, Moses Brown and Luke Cornett at 7'2", before going even bigger with Kristaps Porzingis at 7'3", and Boban Marjanovic at 7'4". While Porzingis holds a notable NBA resume, the same can't be said for the others who struggle to find a place on the court due to their height. The last player taller than 7' foot to have an important career had been Yao Ming. It's been almost 15 years since Yao had his last all-star caliber season, but had to retire at the young age of 30 due to injuries. Should we be worried? Despite facing many injuries, Wemby has never let them hold him back. He's constantly pushing himself to new heights. Time and time again, he has conquered every obstacle presented by an injury. You can see Wemby's passion for the game in everything he does. He's determined to break the stereotype of tall players and show that he's just as strong and skilled as any other player on the court. Wambanyama's performance on the floor simply demonstrates why he is admired by basketball fans all around the world. But what sets him apart from other players his age is his unmatched court presence. He's miles ahead of his peers, and it's not hard to see why. With his height, calm style of play, and general popularity, he's already being touted as the NBA's next big thing. 
Everyone believes he has great potential, and it will only be a matter of time before we witness his skill on an NBA court. Wemby plays with complete body awareness. He is not just running and jumping, he's using every muscle to the fullest extent possible. When he glides over the floor, it's like he's in complete control of his body. And when he goes up for those layups, oh man, they're just a thing of beauty. Half the time, he turns them into dunks. And he's not just scoring on the offensive end, he's sprinting back to defend as well. He's like a force of nature out there on the court. His height and jumping prowess make him an explosive player on the floor. Wemby has developed a reputation for being an excellent defensive player too. With the number of shots he blocks every game, he's become a defensive monster. People are already anticipating that he will establish himself as one of the top players in the game. Wemby will likely play more as a face-up person than a player who tries to back guys down. He is a dangerous force because he has exceptional ball handling and shooting skills that give him an edge over his opponents. One by Yama can play in the NBA at his current stature, but getting stronger will definitely improve his defensive ability, which is crucial in the game of basketball. Injury Scouts Though some of us still worry about Victor Wambanyama's injury risk because of his slender 7'3 frame, NBA scouts aren't concerned about the clear top prospect in the 2023 NBA draft. An NBA scout told Michael Scotto of Hoops Hype, some people compared his physique with Chet Holgram, but Victor's shoulders and frame are better. You don't pass on him, number one, because you're worried about an injury at his size. Which is right, and we all agree to that. The upside is enough to overlook nearly any risk, making him a near lock to go number one overall in the June draft. At just 229 pounds, some people are worried about his durability, and unfortunately, it seems like those concerns might be valid. Players, obviously, uh, players are, uh, always try to, to bump into me and to, to hit me. I mean, I, I can't say I was surprised because I get this, I kind of get this every weekend back in France. Chet, the number two pick of 2022, broke his foot in his first taste of the NBA physicality. And then there's Anthony Davis, who's probably the closest thing to Wambanyama in terms of skills and physique. But since he joined the Lakers, he's had 49 different injuries. Wambanyama will hope for better injury luck once he reaches the NBA. While there are concerns about his health and longevity in the league, his unique combination of size and play has the potential to make him a superstar. By working on his flexibility, balance, and overall fitness, Wemby can reduce the risk of injury and stay healthy on the court. It's clear that there are some concerns about his injury history, but his undeniable talent and potential make him a top pick regardless. No team will be willing to pass up on the potential that Victor brings to the table. We can only wait and see which team will be lucky enough to secure the first overall pick and draft him. But what do you think? Will Wemby be able to overcome these challenges and live up to his potential? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for tuning in and being a part of this community. Until next time, take care. Uh... At some point, it was just about taking over because uh, our team needed, definitely needed players to like step up.